Hi everyone. The Ausgesia Kushnet, Mech 167, served as a cutter in the United States Coast Guard, based in Ketchikan, Alaska. Originally commissioned as the USS Shackle, ARS-9, she belonged to the diver class rescue and salvage ships utilized by the United States Navy during World War II. Throughout her service, she played a vital role in aiding distressed vessels, earning three battle stars for her efforts during the war. Following her distinguished wartime service, a Kushnet transitioned to a lengthy career with the Coast Guard. Patrolling the waters of the North Pacific, she remained one of the last active duty World War II era ships in the US fleet until her retirement in 2011. The construction of USS Shackle commenced on the 26th of October 1942 at the Basalt Rock Company in Napa, California. Launched on the 1st of April 1943, the ceremony was graced by Mrs. Walker Cochran as the sponsor. Under the command of Lieutenant Charles G. Jenkins, Jr., she was officially commissioned on 5 February 1944. With the nation deeply embroiled in war, the demand for naval vessels was urgent. Consequently, three ships, designated as naval auxiliaries, were swiftly constructed to meet the need. In less than a year, three fleet rescue and salvage vessels were completed for service in the Pacific Theater, eventually transitioning to Coast Guard cutters. Following her commissioning, Shackle's initial assignment stationed her at Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, where she served as a salvage ship in the West Pacific for the duration of World War II. During her inaugural year, Shackle undertook extensive salvage missions, clearing wreckage in the channels at Pearl Harbor and Midway Island. Subsequently, she operated in Guam, Eniwetok, Tinian, and Saipan for the remainder of the year. On February 15, 1945, the USS Shackle set sail for the invasion of Iwo Jima, where it undertook over 44 diving and salvage missions with remarkable success. Among the notable salvage operations, the USS Shackle performed battle repairs on the USS Terry, which had been struck by a Japanese shore battery. Additionally, it rescued the crew and salvaged the damaged landing craft infantry, LCI, after enemy fire hit it, as well as assisting in salvaging the damaged landing ship medium, LSM, that had run aground on a reef. In March 1945, the USS Shackle played a vital supporting role in the Okinawa invasion, and later witnessed the surrender of Japan in Tokyo Bay. From D-Day on April 1, 1945, until September 20, 1945, the ship completed 55 salvage and rescue operations on large naval vessels damaged by kamikaze attacks, responding to 108 general alarms during this period. Assigned to mine-sweeping operations in the East China Sea, the USS Shackle sunk or destroyed over 200 enemy mines of various types. It also cleared the vital docking area of a sunken Japanese cable-laying ship at Yokosuka Naval Base, Tokyo Bay, Japan, without suffering any damage or casualties. For its service in the Pacific Theater, the USS Shackle received three World War II Battle Stars, as well as the World War II Victory Medal, Asiatic Pacific Campaign Medal, American Campaign Medal, and Navy Occupation Service Medal. On August 23, 1946, the USS Shackle was commissioned into the United States Coast Guard as the USGC Akushnet, WAT 167, serving as a search and rescue vessel and being home ported in Portland, Maine. Following her decommissioning by the United States Navy at the close of World War II, she, alongside her sister ships USS Seas and USS Escape, swiftly transitioned into the realm of the United States Coast Guard. Originally stationed in San Diego, California, she later found herself in San Francisco, where, on June 29, she was officially decommissioned and transferred to the Coast Guard. Renamed as GC Akushnet, WAT 167, she commenced her service as a Coast Guard tug, establishing herself as a reliable ally to fishermen and distressed boaters. Stationed in Portland, Maine, Akushnet endeared herself to the maritime community through her tireless search and rescue efforts. 
from aiding vessels in distress to participating in the International Ice Patrol, her contributions did not go unnoticed. In fact, her involvement with the International Ice Patrol garnered attention, earning her a feature in the April 22, 1957 edition of Life magazine. A Kushnitz Valor was put to the test on numerous occasions, including a daring rescue mission in February 1952. Amidst a fierce storm off Cape Cod, the tanker SS Fort Mercer split in two, prompting a Kushnitz to brave heavy seas and rescue 18 men from the stern of the vessel. Throughout the 1950s and 1960s, Akushnet remained an active participant in search and rescue missions and patrol duties. From towing operations to medivacs, her versatility and dedication to duty were unparalleled. Notable rescues during this time included salvaging the stranded USGC General Green in 1960 and saving the entire crew of the disabled seagoing dredge Cartagena on a stormy Christmas day in 1961. In the fall of 1967, Akushnet ventured southward, where she continued her life-saving mission by rescuing a Cuban refugee from a distressed pleasure craft off the coast of Key West, Florida. Throughout her illustrious career, Akushnet's unwavering commitment to service and valor remained steadfast, earning her a lasting legacy as a guardian of the seas. Redesignated as an oceanographic ship, Wargo 167, on July 8, 1968, the vessel embarked on a new chapter, dedicated to oceanographic, meteorological, and polar operations. Undergoing conversion during fiscal year 1970, significant alterations were made to her hull and scientific equipment, while additional research and storage spaces were integrated at a shipyard in San Diego, California. Tasked with supporting the National Data Boy Project of NOAA, Akushnet spent three years attached to the Office of Naval Research and the Scripps Oceanographic Institute in San Diego. Across 11 extended deployments until June 1971, the cutter played a pivotal role in positioning buoys, with one noteworthy rescue mission conducted during her tenure as a WAGO. July 1971 marked Akushnet's transfer to the Gulf Coast, where she continued her oceanographic endeavors based at Gulfport, Mississippi. Serving with the National Data Boy Center, her duties extended to aiding the Mississippi Test Facility. Affectionately dubbed Noah's Ark by her crew, Akushnet arrived in Gulfport with a grand entrance, towing a 100-ton buoy from San Diego for her inaugural support assignment. While stationed in Gulfport, Akushnet remained a stalwart in search and rescue missions, earning accolades for her role in extinguishing the Key Largo fire and responding to collisions on the Mississippi River. Between 1975 and 1978, her activities ranged from conducting search and rescue research to facilitating the first marriage aboard a Coast Guard vessel in over a century, alongside substantial drug seizure operations. In late 1978, Akushnet embarked on a pivotal patrol as part of the Global Weather Experiment, traversing over 18,000 miles from Peru to New Zealand in 82 days. Recognized for her exceptional performance, Akushnet received the Meritorious Unit Commendation, coinciding with her designation as a medium endurance cutter and formal assignment to law enforcement and search and rescue duties. Throughout the 80s, Akushnet continued her vigilant efforts, weathering Hurricane Frederick unscathed and participating in landmark events such as the Marielle boat lift from Cuba, where she played a crucial role in escorting refugees to safety. Notably, her successful drug interdiction operations yielded substantial seizures, affirming her reputation as a force to be reckoned with on the high seas. In July 1990, Akushnet relocated to Eureka, California. During a patrol in September of the same year, sharp-eyed lookout spotted floating objects in the water, which turned out to be the crew members of the capsized fishing boat Miss Patty. In July 1991, during Operation Sand Trap, Akushnet intercepted the sailing vessel Malagula, laden with 12 tons of hashish from Indochina. Despite the smugglers' attempts to scuttle the sailboat, Akushnet managed to retrieve 32 bales from the burning and sinking vessel. In October 1991, 
Akushnet ventured into Alaskan waters for the first time. During her stint, she played a crucial role in coordinating anti-pollution efforts after the grounding of the 518-foot Hyundai No. 12 near the Shamajin Islands. Additionally, she responded to a distress call from the fishing vessel Tonquin in the Gulf of Alaska, conducting a five-day search and rescuing one crew member from stormy seas. Thanks to Akushnet's efforts, three more crew members were subsequently saved. As Akushnet's patrols increasingly focused on Alaska, she relocated to Ketchikan, Alaska, in 1998. Here, she actively participated in law enforcement, fisheries, and search and rescue missions, significantly reducing her transit time to the Bering Sea. On February 23, 2007, Akushnet was honored as the oldest commissioned cutter in the fleet, earning the formal title of Queen of the Fleet following the decommissioning of us GC Storus. Although slated for decommissioning in late 2008, public appeals led to a cancellation of the decommissioning, allowing Akushnet to continue her service in Alaska. In October 2008, Akushnet played a vital role in search and rescue efforts after the sinking of the cod fishing vessel Katmai in the Aleutians, even featuring in the reality TV show Deadliest Catch. After more than 67 years of distinguished service, Akushnet was decommissioned on March 11, 2011. She was succeeded by us GC Smeelix as the Coast Guard's oldest commissioned cutter. Despite her retirement from active duty, Akushnet's legacy continues as she was acquired by Blue Water Overwatch, LLC, in 2022, to serve as the flagship of their training program. Currently undergoing restoration in Anacortes, Washington, Akushnet stands as a testament to her enduring maritime heritage. Akushnet has been recognized numerous times for exceptional service, earning several decorations, including Presidential Unit Citation Secretary of Transportation Outstanding Unit Award Two Coast Guard Unit Commendations Six Coast Guard Meritorious Unit Commendations Coast Guard E-Ribbon Coast Guard Bicentennial Unit Commendation American Campaign Medal Asiatic Pacific Campaign Medal with Three Battle Stars World War II Victory Medal Navy Occupation Service Medal with Asia Clasp Four National Defense Service Medals Global War on Terrorism Service Medal Two Humanitarian Service Medals Transportation 9 to 11 Ribbon Two Special Operations Service Ribbons Thanks for watching